Hi, this is the online manual for the Friedman BE100 amplifier. Congratulations, you're the new owner of a Friedman BE100 guitar amplifier designed by Dave Friedman, who has shaped the tone of many of your favorite guitar players. Let's start with the basic hookup of your new amp. First thing is to make sure the amp is connected to a speaker cabinet with the impedance selector in the correct position. This is crucial for the correct and safe operation of the amp. Use a speaker cable from one of the speaker out jacks on the back of the amp to the input jack on the speaker cabinet. Next, set the correct impedance. 4, 8, or 16 ohms by using the impedance selector switch on the back of the amp. Next we're going to plug in the mains power cord into the AC jack receptacle on the back of the amplifier and into a proper AC receptacle to power the amp. If you wish to use the supplied foot switch, plug it into the jack on the back marked foot switch. If you use the foot switch, the front panel channel switch will no longer function as long as that foot switch is plugged in. Turn the master volume down and ensure all option switches are turned off, which is the down position for any switch on the amp. Next, turn the main power switch on. The power lamp will light up. Don't take the amp out of standby yet. To ensure the maximum life from your tubes, we suggest that you leave the amp in standby at least 60 seconds before turning on. Okay, let's get the amp ready to play. We're going to start with the BE channel, the brown eye channel, and we can get there by the front panel channel selector switch or by using the foot switch if the foot switch is plugged in. Now turn the presence, bass, middle, and treble to about 5, which is about 12 o'clock. Turn the gain up to about 7 to 10 for higher gain rhythms or less for more crunch type tones. Okay, we're going to wait about a minute before taking the amp out of standby. Once that's done, you can turn it on and plug your guitar in. Now slowly turn up the master volume to set your desired loudness. Strum some chords or play some rhythm to get a feel for the amp. Adjust the EQ section to taste and experiment with different settings. Next we're going to discuss some of the option features that come with the amp. There's some switches on the back of the amp and the front of the amp that can be really fun to use. Let's start with the switches on the back. The same rule applies for all rear panel switches. Down is off. Up is on. This includes the effects loop switch, which we will talk about in detail later. If you're looking at the back of the amplifier, to the far left, the first switch is the fat switch. It's great for making single coil pickups to sound fatter, like humbuckers, it can also be a neat effect for humbuckers. Here's what it sounds like. Next is the C45 switch. This switch scoops the mids, thereby increasing the lows and the highs. There is also a slight increase in gain. Here's what it sounds like. Okay, the last voicing switch on the back of the amp is the SAT switch, which is a saturation switch. This switch adds sustain, gain, and compression. It reacts like diode clipping, so there will be a noticeable volume drop. You can make up for this loss in volume by increasing the master volume on the front of the amp. Here's what it sounds like. <laughs>
Okay, let's talk about the front panel voice switch. This is for the dirty channels only. The switch is, in, is normal when pointed to left and on when pointed right. There's a very subtle change in bottom and gain and a change in feel under the fingers. Up next is the HBE channel. We can switch to the HBE channel either from the front panel or the supplied foot switch if it's plugged in. When the HBE channel or boost channel is engaged, it adds another gain stage to the BE channel. It gives more gain, compression, and a slight volume increase, and it's great for soloing. Pressing the boost on the foot switch does nothing to the clean channel. Non-reactive. Here's what it sounds like. The BE100 also comes with a great clean channel. Let's switch to that now. You can use the front panel channel switch or the foot switch if it's connected. Turn the clean master volume down and set the clean channel bass and treble controls to 5 or 12 o'clock. Now turn the master clean volume up to the desired loudness to match your dirty volume. When using the clean channel, there is a three position bright switch which can also be utilized to change the tone as well as the clean channel bass and treble controls. Let's hear what the switch does starting with the far left position. Now the bright switch in the middle position. Now, the bright switch in the far right position. Let's talk about the effects loop. The BE100 has a series effects loop. To engage the loop, place the effects loop switch in the up position. That's located on the back of the amp. Run a quarter inch guitar cable from the send to the input of your effects unit and another cable from the out of your effects unit to the return jack on the back of the amp. When the effects loop is engaged, the master volume for the BE channel and the HBE channel becomes the send level to the effects unit. So that must be set between 5 and 6 for optimum signal. The return level on the back of the amp now becomes your master volume for the entire amplifier. Set your clean channel volume to match your dirty sounds volume level. This will ensure that your effects unit is getting the optimum signal in order to perform properly and your amp will sound great. Your amp is also equipped with a line out jack and level control to feed external devices. It is not speaker compensated. Example would be to use this in a wet dry rig by sending a signal from the line out to an effects unit that also has a power amp and speaker setup. In case of failure, such as a blown fuse, only replace with the same type of fuses. A blown fuse is usually caused by a bad power tube, so don't freak out. It'll be all right. Okay.